Hey, what's going on? Are we live? Are we good, Kevin? Should be. All right. Well, hello, everyone, and uh, thanks for joining us for tonight's watch along of 1993's Cool Runnings, one of my favorite movies. Uh, I don't know who suggested doing this. I'm trying to keep, I look ridiculous, but I had a couple of Jamaican colors on here. Um, I don't know who suggested this, but I am very glad you did because as soon as I heard we were watching this, I said I want to be a part of it, and uh, I'm psyched to be here. Joining me right below me is my man, Eric Morton. How are you, Eric? I'm doing great tonight. How are you guys doing? Doing fantastic. Getting very excited about this epic movie journey we're about to yeah, experience. Man. I have some fun facts. I am ready to go. Um, we're also going to be joined by Jess uh, Figaro. You guys all know Fig, um, but she actually had time to go get herself a drink. And I said, there's always time to go get yourself a drink. So if you are watching, you don't have a drink, and now would be a good time to go grab one, put that popcorn in the microwave, grab a snack, because we're going to get started in just a few minutes. I think Jess is coming back. At least she's trying to, or Gordo attacked her. Um Hey, Disney, Disney so, yeah, wants so to know thought, right off the bat if we have, if any of us have a lucky egg tonight. Do we have a lucky egg? Oh, kiss the lucky egg. I should go get a lucky egg. I'd break it, though. I got one. It's in the refrigerator. It's the only, it's the only one in the public. Oh, Jessica, how are you doing this evening? Go get a hey, drink, you guys said. We'll wait for you, they said. I said I would stall for you, and I did, and now it's perfect timing. Why don't you say hi to everyone who's watching? Hello, everyone. Welcome to... A live watch along of Cool Runnings, the movie that everyone wanted to watch after we watched yes. the Look of the Iris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that big connection between Cool Runnings and Luck of the Irish. <laughs> right? I mean, I'm, I've never seen Luck of the Irish. I told it was terrible, but this movie is actually legit. This is a good movie. For the record, this is one of like four movies, four Disney movies Peter's ever seen. <laughs> this is a 100% true like story checks out. It's the cool running Secretariat. <laughs> I haven't seen Secretariat. I haven't seen that. <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm like, what other obscure Disney movies? Have you I seen? think we need to get uh -oh. Pete into your, your DCOM like squad, Dragon. Jessica. We need to get Pete in DCOM. Yeah, get him in the DCOM squad. You guys can, can show him the way. No Disney Channel original movies for you, Pete? Um, I don't even know what those are, so if you could give me an example. <laughs> <laughs> well, they just watched what? one two nights ago. Z Xenon. Halloween Town? Xenon? Mm, doesn't I neither school. rings a bell. Like everyone. <laughs> mm. What? I've Isn't seen High School the Musical a DCOM? Yeah, High School Musical is like I, probably one of the most well-known It's ones. like the DCOM, yeah. I've High never school seen High School Musical either, so I don't know. Um, I just figured I'd let everyone know because so when we do this, we normally hit like play and everyone start at the same time, but they're always off. So I thought it'd be easier. So everyone's start time is exactly the same if we all started on 10 seconds. So if everyone goes into the movie, queue it up to exactly 10 seconds and then we'll hit go. Um, that way your internet speed won't matter. We should all just jump in at the same time. Cause before when I hit play, there was a delay. So I, this is my system, I think, to try to get everyone <laughs> right around the same watch time, if possible. I like so it. I like it. Queue it up to ten seconds. We should all be as close as possible. So if you're watching at home, uh, hopefully you're in front of your television or your tablet or something that can watch Cool Runnings. I know it's on Disney Plus. I don't know where else it is, but bring it to ten seconds. It should be right after the Disney logo falls down through the screen. The old castle fade down the old castle y'all remember the castle yeah, yeah. the old castle. Remember that castle the old castle oh the good old days of that castle Woo. <laughs> pete you're, i find your choice of beverage compelling in these times what's tonight no what is this serona serona which one <laughs> well there's serona serona's yeah yeah serona we're on uh yep I think this is uh, Woodford Reserve, so toast nice. to all of you out there. You are more of a man than I am. I'm on my second last bottle of Prosecco that I ordered like, a few days ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the last bottle. <laughs> I'm worried. We bought a case of wine, uh, I think, on Wednesday, and there's one bottle left. <laughs> so it's going very quickly. <laughs> I I don't don't know, the liquor stores are open, Pete. We're good. 
I know. <laughs> it's scary, though. <laughs> we all should be drinking Red Stripe. I'm reading the chat. I, I should have got oh, some Red Stripe. Great idea. Oh, my God. Yeah. I should have done that. What do we do for theming? Like, I don't casually have... We have a bunch of old T-shirts. Okay, so fun fact about this. Before we actually... I think everyone in the chat already has a 10... Around the 10 second spot, so yeah, we're all starting the 10 second game. mark. Go ahead, Ray, I want to hear minutes. the story. So, my first the first time I ever saw Cool Runnings, uh, and I don't think I've ever really seen it in full of, after that. Um, so in like 98, <laughs> the movie came out in 1993, correct? Um, in correct. 98, um, my dad won a random raffle for uh for like a vacation, it was like a waiver for like a vacation of choice. And we, we were always like big in, yeah. Um, and we were always like big into Disney and stuff, but that's when the cruises had just started. The Disney cruises um, had just started, like their maiden voyages with the first two ships. And he's like, yeah, let's do a Disney cruise. Like back then they weren't like 10 grand to take your whole family to, to on a cruise. Um, so it was, I vivid, this is one of my most vivid memories. I was probably like seven years old. Um, <laughs> and it was the night before the cruise, like the very night I'm like packing, which is like kid packing, you know, like, oh, I've got my big bird, I've got Elmo. <laughs> yes, I was like seven. Anyway, and on the TV, they used to play this on Disney Channel, which is how I was exposed to it. Um, and of course, the cruise stopped in Jamaica, and I was fascinated by that concept. And then here was the bobsledding team. So I was like, oh, this is going to be so cool, and they're going to be bobsledders. And of course, this movie is like, it's great for a reason, even though it's like an obscure sports movie. It has a lot of energy. Obviously, John Candy brings a lot of that, but all the other protagonists, too. Um, so I don't know. I just remember being super excited watching this movie and being even more excited for like my first ever cruise as like a kid. Um, and yeah, that's my memory and my connection between like Disney, Disney Cruise Line, co runnings and that's why I have such good memories about the movie. And that's why I was like, yeah, let's, let's watch it. Let's do it. I need serotonin. <laughs> I like that. Thank, thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I'll leave now. <laughs> that was very nice. I like that. <laughs> You're a my, my, last, my last duty station was Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. And oh um, all of the, so, well, so not sorry. all of, but most, most of the uh, bartenders, servers, people that worked in restaurants on base were Jamaican. So I had heard them talk about this movie and I had heard it referenced all the time. Uh, so but funny. I've never, I'd never seen it until uh, a couple of days ago. Cause Pete told me I had to watch it. It was one of the best movies had he'd ever seen. And at the point, at that point, I didn't realize that like best movie Pete had ever seen only put it in like a, <laughs> there's, Pete's only seen like six out of, movies. So out of I the 22 that, movies I've seen, this is pretty uh, high on the list. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right. I, I defer to you, Mr. Carney, to get us started. All right, so if for anyone who's joining us late, we're about to start the Cool Runnings Watch Long. We're all starting at the 10-second mark. So you should have the movie queued up to the 10-second mark. It should be right about when the castle finishes loading on the screen. Um, I'm going to pull mine up just to make sure it's good to go. And then I'm going to go just do a countdown. I'm going to go 3, 2, 1, play. Um, cool, my 10 um so we'll do that and then we're gonna start this bad boy uh all right so if you are ready everyone from the 10 second mark i'm gonna go three two one play here we go three two one play there we go i love I'm this intro by the way i know we skipped a little bit of it but it still gives me feels yeah so a lot of the music this movie became big because of this yeah you know, but oh, Lee kept playing yes. Pressure Drop around the apartment, and I didn't hear it in the movie. It must just be on the soundtrack. Soundtrack. That's like a big song. Pressure Drop? No? You, we might hear it. By the way, so this movie changed directors three times, finally selling on John Turtle Tom. Turtle T-A-U-B. Turtle Tom. Turtle Tom. Tom. God, I love Dougie Duggan this so much. He was like my favorite character. <laughs> Roldy Lewis plays the rich guy. Malik is Yul Brenner. Ray Barry is obviously uh, second, not a really a principal. Dory is Bionic. The only movie, the only Disney movie Pete has ever seen. I'm so, I love this movie so, so much, you have no idea. 
and John Candy. So, do you know that Disney executives wanted Kurt Russell to play the coach? And John oh. Candy insisted on taking the role that he took a huge pay cut just to play the role of the coach because he wanted to. And sadly, this they were was the last in movie. Jamaica. That, well, this also was the last movie released during his lifetime before he passed away. This yeah. is the last one that was released. Is this the last so movie sad. he appeared in, or it's the last one that was released? Well, I don't know. No, just I really think the last one that was released while he was alive. Yeah. You see how they just abused that toilet paper, by the way? They, <laughs> we didn't know. <laughs> what a shame. My Hans Zimmer? No doubt. My man Hans Zimmer. Like, I was teasing the other day with Eric, but I was like, this is how Hans Zimmer got big. <laughs> I'm in couch mode tonight, too. I sit up in front of the couch so I can relax a little bit. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh, I need to get the soundtrack downloaded stat. I'm telling you, that soundtrack is bumping. <laughs> it's so good. I, I listen to uh, Serious XM to the joint a lot lately. Like, for all, like, getting so excited for this movie. I pretty much know every Whaler song now. Look at those shorts. <laughs> Doris, pull your pants down, boy. Look at that. <laughs> I could oh watch God. that backside all A Disney day. movie. We're men. We're not so pieces good. of meat, women. It's this is not appropriate. Those are pieces of meat. Uh, <laughs> God, I gotta go to Jamaica. 87, that's the year Lauren was born. And my brother, Michael. Here's what, is this really a thing? Like a soapbox derby, but Jamaican? Do yes. they really have this? So this is, is this kind of big... true. A lot, this movie takes a lot of creative liberties, but this is a real thing in Jamaica. It's like a really big deal. The Rasta Rocket Man. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> if you're joining That's us so a cool. few minutes late, uh, we're coming up. Uh, we're watching Cool Runnings, and we are about 10 seconds from being at 4 minutes and 30 seconds in. So uh, cue it up, and I'll count it down. Uh, 4, 26, 5, 26, 27, 27, 28, 29, 430. So sync on up and watch with if us. You can get close enough. Yeah, as long as you're close enough. It's on Disney Plus, for those of you that don't know. It's also people are saying in the chat you can buy it or rent it on iTunes. I love her in this movie. She's got all that sass. I love her. Kiss the lucky egg. <laughs> this looks like the same equipment like I had in like my first practice. Like just leftover random stuff that won't protect you at all. This looks like a crazy, by the way. It's the traffic. They took the road. time to like paint lanes on this road, and everyone's just going everywhere. Now the lanes uh, are gone. Anymore. Good, fine. Not anymore. Not anymore. Yeah. He's like a Jamaican Anakin Skywalker. You see this? The Rasta Rocket.
Sanka. You did? Oh, Sanka. You know, Cuba Gooding Jr. is supposed to be one of these Bob Slayers as well. He auditioned, made it to down to the final, I think, six. Really? Yeah. Is, is Sanka spelled like the coffee, S-A-N-K-A? Correct. Is there any other way to spell it? Do they still have Sanka coffee? That was like cheap instant coffee I'm back sure in the 80s. Somewhere. I'm about that Illy or Illo, whatever the red writing is. Jess, are you muted? So speak. I was, because I'm usually oh. typing and like working in the background and I mute myself because then everyone gets annoyed that I'm typing very quickly and making a lot of noise. <laughs> Come on, who doesn't want the double wide on the on the ocean? <laughs> right? Ooh, that's big pimping. Jamaica. They are not social distancing. They are I love it's like crazy. in a minute they should. They show the track and it's totally wavy and bumpy. Like this is a country where track and field is like their most important sport. Yeah. And they're just yeah. like, eh, why don't you run down and a bumpy ass track. track. And if this movie gets all wrong, the qualifiers for the Summer Olympics would have been after the Calgary Olympics. So this is kind of a liberty they took to like set Yeah, up. I don't know, because there was a point when they the Olympics used to be in the same year and then they switched them so they alternated every four years, yeah. but on every uh, every, every basically years. even year. Yeah. I love this guy. I always felt bad for him. He like reminded, like he just like it reminds me of young Pete. Like just, just get Pete. beat up. I did like he used to get beat up, and I was just young friendly. I didn't know why people. I don't know the why people like Pete. were mean to me. Uh, Junior Bevel. Unity is strength. Yes, Coca Cola. Oh, poor Junior. Poor Doris. I don't know why watching this, I was like, I wasn't even a sporty person. Like, I would, I was that kid who would, like... This is actual like, footage of me when Disney reopens. <laughs> <laughs> Roop drop. <laughs> Sorry, just cut you off. Go ahead. That's still me. No, it's fine. But, like, I, I don't know. I, like, the movie is really compelling. And for someone like me, who I describe as, like, the least athletic person in the world... And like I watched this and I was like, this is so cool. Well, this was supposed to be like a serious like sports movie, and then they after the like I think there was like 14 script three, changes right? and three directors, yeah. they decided to make it a fun for the whole family kind of thing. Like one by the way, uh, just another if you guys are checking in on the time, uh, my countdown says it's 955, 956, 957, 958, 959, 10 minutes. So we just hit the 10 minute mark. If you guys are all there, that's about where we are in the sync if you're trying to sync up with us. And we're watching Cool, cool Runnings, Runnings, Disney Plus. Cool Runnings. Is he wearing acid wash <laughs> jeans? Oh, God, the style in this movie. I, this is how I want to dress forever. Yeah, that's, how I, that's how I went to high school, man. Not to date myself, but. And this guy, it, he looks like he has the Iron Man cutout around his face and white hair. And I brought the bottle <laughs> to the room. Look at look at skinny John Candy, still but still wearing like a Hawaiian oh shirt. God. Look at you, I like it. I was gonna wear a Hawaiian shirt, but I went with a Jamaica green, so I found this. Oh, Eric, what year did you? I, got, I wore a Puma for uh, Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt. Yeah. Nice. Usain Jessica. Uh, what, Mandy's asking, uh, what year did you graduate? I graduated in 1992. Oh, my God. Is that high school or college? That was graduate yeah, school. I graduated, high school. I graduated high school in 1992. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> oh, Mandy's 1997. Ha, ha, ha. 
Dougie Doug is so good. He was just like one who came on board and yeah. said he would only audition for this part. And they were like, good, that's the part we want you for. Or something like that. Like, I, He was a big deal at the time. And then and what's he, he done was. since? Nothing. This is his retirement. He's so good. He's like the anti-Olaf. Yeah. I love so when he breaks off his dread. On Wikipedia, they said that they actually over-exaggerated the actual, um, the actual temperatures of like the this yeah. particular era of the Olympics. Yeah, it yeah. was like supposedly like they depicted it was like negative twelve degrees, and it was really just in the sixties. But it was in the sixties. Yeah, it's crazy. But for someone speaking as someone from the Caribbean, <laughs> like that, like. 60 degrees that it that feels like zero for you <laughs> yeah like meanwhile for me from new york like people were like freaking out in here when it was like 49 degrees and i was still in shorts and a t-shirt what would you think about um epcot adding a jamaica pavilion with the secret jamaican bobsled training facility secret jamaican bobsled. i like that idea <laughs> i think they're waiting <laughs> Yeah, they're waiting for um, something to be legalized countrywide by the federal government, and then a Jamaican pavilion yeah. would kill. <laughs> yeah. Because you know if they're selling beer in Germany, you got to stay true to the land. No. You Take not that slush to, to the next level. Drinking around the world would be crazy. I love that car, too. This, there's a place in the town I grew up in that looks just like that. Like, it literally, it looks like it was filmed in Central Iceland. Oh, look, there's a red stripe. That's so this, cool. I love this scene when he just takes the bull stick. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> I wonder what the like guidelines for product placement were in this. Because, you know, clearly we've already seen Coca-Cola, Red Stripe clearly like is in there i don't i don't think they just sprinkled it in for cultural purposes i think it's like an actual wow. partnership this is the best he lines up the pool cue <laughs> <laughs> oh yes uncle buck is, is that's him <laughs> Okay, next race. So this is after Uncle Buck. Is that right? What? This is after Uncle Buck. What is Uncle Buck? John Candy. Oh, it's a, I'm sorry. John Candy was an actor, and he was in a movie called Uncle Buck. That was probably his biggest. <laughs> I thought Uncle Buck was a character yeah. in this movie for a second, and I was like, what are you talking about? No, it was a classic John Hughes movie with uh, John oh. Candy. That and uh, The Great Outdoors, two of the great, you gotta watch them, Pete. I'm gonna tie you down and make you watch Uncle Buck and The Great Outdoors. All right. Sounds like a very Uncle Buck move. <laughs> uh, pull, pull cue. <laughs> this little scene, like this little montage of him getting bothered is so good. Second time, bing. <laughs> Greetings, sled gods. <laughs> he did not wash his hands. <laughs> okay. You hear that? Toilet flushes, he grabs a guy by the throat. <laughs> Immediately. <Yeah. laughs> Terrible example, America. I just love when Sanka is going, goes, okay, <laughs> just takes off. <laughs> In summer, you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this part always upset me. When like he rips up, like, no, don't rip it. No, no. I like this. We just drops the mic on him. Like, and I run it in four flat. It's me at a photo of me at Walt Disney World. Uh, it's always me. Days. It's me every morning. <laughs> I guess these storylines always work out. It's like the reluctant, you know, yeah. reluctant trainer, and then like the headstrong, like diamond in the rough. Yeah, second chance. Yeah. I used to have that same color wife beater. Or I should say a shirt. Not that there are still other people in this like nightclub, like by day. Yeah, like like, just, like after he's broken a radio. <laughs> He was stalked in a bathroom. Somebody was choked. <laughs> and they're just like, no big deal. Just so choked dominance. him without washing his he hands. Yeah, he gave a dirty <laughs> choke slam. Look at the colors in this room. So great. That was in, in the early 90s, man. The bright colors. I know. I remember. This is one of the funniest scenes, too. I used to love this as a kid. <laughs> All right, so Super Bowl champion said You're that John Candy. Slip God. John Candy's last movie was Canadian Bacon, which was directed by Michael Moore. I've never even heard of that movie. I've heard of the food and then the director separately. You're sorry, rear ends. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy mentioned hyper colors. Do you guys are Jessica? You don't remember that, Pete? Do you do you remember hyper colors? Um, what, they were like clothes that change. Is... They change color with your body heat. Oh no! No. I mean, in a lot of like cruise stops, they have like the the clothes that change like with sun exposure, like the UV clothes. Yeah. But no hypercolor. Yeah, hypercolor. Uh, I grew up in a uh, pretty ghetto stuff. neighborhood, so he just wore Timberland, South Pole, <laughs> Gucci, Mecca, um, Aniche. I had the hypercolor. That's very New York. Because, you know. <laughs> I used to wear FUBU. This is the great Come on. <laughs> you did not. It's gone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's Here's... gone. Bye. Yeah, the, the bum equipment. Yeah. What was wrong with the polar bear? <laughs> Look, Boldy's here. Don't touch me. You old brand I remember bum. Or is it B-U-M? I don't know. I just used to say bum. Bum. Yeah, there's bum equipment. Hello, guys. Is this movie Oscar worthy? No, I think it has like a 73 on Rotten Tomatoes. But a 73. Yeah, but it has like an 80 it's... something amongst the audience. That's just against those <laughs> stupid critics in the 90s. It made like 180 million bucks or something like that. We'll never find another person for this sled. Oh. <laughs> oh, the guy God, with the very square hairdo or head. <laughs> yeah. I can't figure it out. Junior Bevel. I kill you. <laughs> John Candy's just watching it <laughs> unfold. Well, then we're not going. It's 
funny. I mean, there's still a lot of like development that goes on between them as a team, and then like from a sports standpoint. Yeah, I like I so well done. Maybe I'll beat your butt. <laughs> 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 he did the laugh and it's like, oh, no. He says they're going to visit Tyler. <laughs> Tyler's in Canada. This is great right here. That's a little place to be coming from. <laughs> we are watching, watching cool runnings. runnings. We're coming up on a 24 minute mark. If you want to join us on Disney Plus, we're at 23, 59, 24 minutes. Cool runnings. Oh, that's a cool fun fact. Uh, Super Bowl champions in chat says director of cool runnings, John Turtbaum. Turtle Bomb. Turtle Tom. Turtle Tom. Tom. I do not know Turtle how to Turtle T A U B. Also directed Disney's The Kid with Bruce Willis, as well as National Treasure. Hey. National oh. Treasure was awesome. I gotta look up more Turtle Tub. Is National Treasure still not on Disney Plus? I think it was like still under Netflix, but they're like switching it over. Um, Disney Plus has like uh, National Treasure two. I don't know. Is it on TNT like three nights a week? (laughs) Yeah, it is. (laughs) It's TNT every Tuesday and Thursday. TNT bought out the rights for life. Oh, look at this baby. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, Junior Bevel. Reminds, yeah, National Treasure on Disney Plus, April thirtieth. That's what yeah. Doing. National Treasure is on Disney um, Plus. It's current. It's already on Disney Plus. Yeah, I, I'm searching for it on Disney April. Plus right now. April. Oh, coming soon. I'm sorry. It's yeah. It's April thirtieth. April thirtieth. I know there April was 30th. a lot of back and forth with it. In any case, I am going to. Um, I need to find it first, but I'm going to retweet our post of all the new stuff coming to Disney Plus in April. So, I'll let you know once it's up. <laughs> I see pride, I see power, I see a badass mother that won't take no crap, and I'm nobody. Say it again. Jessica, do you know if we're getting island at the top of the world? Island at the top of the world. <laughs> I don't know. We, we can't get the ride now. But... I know, that's what I thought immediately, which is funny. All right, just retweeted it. There's everything coming to Disney Plus in April. There's some cool 1950s specials coming up. 
bunch of Disney nature films, all of the classic um, yeah, I wanna see, nature I wanna specials see the from the 50s. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Uh, boy. The fall over the top. <laughs> That's yeah. me on Mind Train. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are like 40 now that they should. Yeah, for sure. This is great. Yes, uh, guest on 67, we are actually going to have an onward, if I'm correct, an onward uh, yeah. watch along, just like we're having now, once it comes out on Disney+. Plus. What is that, April 6th? So this is Talking this is Heads, but like a Jamaican version, the music. We... <laughs> I love this part. <laughs> Frozen Sanka. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Two. What's the next ride watch along planned? I can check on that for you. So the next watch along is actually tomorrow morning, but it's going to be for funny attractions. For what? Funny attractions. It's. I asked Tom to clarify. I still don't know what it's. Yeah, I. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't answer. Like, what's funny attractions? No, <laughs> but in terms of like movies and stuff, um, we'll be watching Waking Sleeping Beauty on this Friday at 11 a.m. And then the Onward Watch Along is this Sunday, March, I mean, April 5th at 8 p.m. Yeah, David said this is this is the part where they're at the secret Jamaican bobsled training <laughs> facility. <laughs> These guys look like train conductors more than police. Get out of the way. <laughs> I like that car, like a Mitsubishi Raider. What yeah. is that? It looks like a little baby Bronco. The funny thing about like, I mean, uh, Eric, you said you've been in Cuba, so like you've probably seen these like, it's all just old cars there. It's not even so like just cool. limited to like this movie. Well, well Guantanamo just, Bay, you so can't leave. There. So the only vehicles are like stuff people have brought down there. So you just make your, I mean, cars with no windshield. And, you know, I had like an 87 yeah. Volkswagen Scirocco <laughs> down there that like had to be push started. And it <laughs> spray paint. It checks and, out. Half of them don't have yeah. any seats. It's just like a milk crate. This guy's very serious. I know. It's Iron Man face. Is he like an antagonist? Did you just not believe in like the power of the team? It's all about That's dollar serious. bills. He wants to put the dollar bills into the sprinters and the track but athletes. Yeah, he's another you know, roadblock. Like, like, building, Don, like, building John stress. Candy's character is like a disgraced trainer, right? Like. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, he's a disgraced runner. He was, that's why he said it, that he put on the weight. He was like, ugh. Yeah. Um, he, he ran in the Olympics, but he was a bobsledder. Not John Candy, yeah. but the character he's supposedly playing. <laughs> Team, we got the one. It's yes, weird. I love, this one. I love how all these people oh, right, watch. Look at the wall behind the guy. Money. No matter who he's talking to, they all have the same wall behind him. Let's change some decor, put the same wall behind for the next person. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, same wall. New yeah, oh, same, same wall. New painting. Same wall. A couple <laughs> paintings. <laughs> like, what the budget was the budget that low? Why does he look like a pirate here? <laughs> the budget probably was very low. He's got a soccer ball on his head. Oh, for sure. Don't they set they set up like a kissing booth? I'm waiting for them. Yeah, the Doris. Same wall. Ah, look at that wall.
No, imagine the auditions for that. It would have been brutal. Just listen to people cackle all day. I'm touching my nose a lot, so I, I, I'll keep the drinking game alive, Pete. I gotta go get more. Yeah, this is it. This is the kissing booth that they set up. <laughs> yeah, look at that lipstick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a woman's uh, rap. Why'd you sign up then? <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody wants any of that Sanka. Stanka. <laughs> you said the one junior. You would uh, to shut up. <laughs> we got a bobsled team. So a junior saves the day. <laughs> we got a bobsled team. Look at those. God, he doesn't exactly blend covered. in. He's wearing like the rich kid <laughs> uniform from 1993. He's wearing Jamaican camouflage. Yum. Is that a coconut or a football that he crushed? What is that? It's a coconut. I think it's a coconut. That's a coconut. That's like a Caribbean coconut. It sounds like the coconuts. Yeah, that's a coconut. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not crazy. Someone else, Super Bowl champions in the chat is saying they used to replay this on the Disney Channel from time to time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, for sure. I bet they did. Which is interesting because it's like a very like mature movie to put on a kids' network. But it's still. Gotta, gotta feel that it time. It's still fine. Like, I, Webster, Webster, and Cohen. <laughs> we have a bobsled team. <laughs> And the <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, little baby ah, me music. dancing along to this music, packing. It's all my memories of this movie. <laughs> oh, sponsored by American. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I love they even this. change the music. It's like yeah, it's like, it's like country. country. I don't know why it's so country western. Canada. Yeah, <laughs> all those. Uh, it looks like they make but it look like it's a nonstop like flight, nonstop flight from Jamaica <laughs> to Calgary. But <laughs> also, the too, they're probably just trying to do like the biggest musical change from like something Jamaican yeah. and like the, the, the steel drum to yeah. like country music. Yeah. This is one of the best scenes. We hope y'all enjoy this. your stay. Just a bit of an exaggeration. Mm, how about <laughs> nope? <laughs> That's me. That's me whenever I get somewhere cold. I love that his bag is just his That's name. That's also and me. Like... So it's me putting on clothes in the middle of Epcot when I realized that I like left. I love that he walks out of a bag. Totally underdressed. <laughs> I can't That's even me. imagine. I've never been in like snow or anything. Really? Ever? I've been, I went to like, I had the great idea of going to the Grand Canyon in December, like right before Christmas time, but it was an unseasonably warm Christmas. 
and it had snowed, but it wasn't like actively snowing. So you've never been like in the snow, snow, like? No, I've never been oh, around man. Like, with active. That's snow crazy. Coming down on me. You have really? I've wow. No, <laughs> I've also. We used to go on a snowboarding trip. My buddy and I would go down the hill shirtless. Ox would be a maniac. He would snowboard with no shirt on. That's why I treated myself to that Star Wars limited edition like parka thing this last year because I was like, I need cold weather gear. You gotta come to New York when it snows. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm absolutely miserable in the cold. Make a snow angel. Not interested. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like the Swedish bobsledding that there's a Swiss bobsledding team. Yeah. Look at this guy's blazer. He's got pins all over it like he wears it every day. Like he's yeah. at an Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> or like he earned them, like for doing something, but they're in yeah. random spots. Mm -hmm. look, he looks like a Girl Scout. It's cute. I like that. That's a look at that that hair though. Whew. Hey, we used to have flair That's on our blazers. I went to Catholic school for high school, so we had to wear a blazer every day, and like we would have pins for like certain stuff, and it would look like that. Oh my god! My parents had to pull me out of the ghetto, put me in Catholic school. So I'm a gangster and a gentleman. No, I went to the same high school as. Pitbull, as Kevin, who is running the show, knows. <laughs> as Pitbull? Yeah. It's very bad school. Mr. 305? You made some, like, new music for, like, to, like, liven spirits during this time. There was, like, a big radio station live stream thing yesterday night. I listen to a station on Sirius X every once in a while. Mix it up. But, I mean, Pitbull is like, if you're a DJ, you just hate Pitbull because credit to him. He's like every dance track at a wedding. Right. Him or DJ Khaled, where all you do is you shout DJ Khaled at the beginning of every <laughs> song and let other people perform. I mean, you know his name. You know half the words. DJ Khaled. Do you know that he went to Dr. Phillips High School in Orlando? Really? <laughs> Yeah, DJ Khaled attended Dr. Phillips High School in Orlando. So did Lance Bass and all here. kinds of yeah, all these people went to Dr. Phillips apparently. Lance Bass. Lance Bass, the astronaut? Yeah, he was an astronaut for NSYNC. <laughs> it's gonna be Wait, May. Which one was he was he in sync? It's gonna <laughs> what? <laughs> My girlfriend gets mad because I confused the Backstreet Boys, the New Kids on the Block, and NSYNC. I, I don't know. Oh, that's so funny. I mean, I could tell you feud was no one from New Kids Boys on the Block, but I can tell you the other two. New Kids on the Block had Donnie Wahlberg. Yeah. New Kids on the Block. Yeah. <laughs> it only sold once in New York this year. That's crazy. Of course, the first winter I'm not there. I read online. It's kind of sad. Like they, this actually was made up just to like further the plot that they were not. Yeah, up it was on arrival. It was actually like the opposite. Supposedly that like here they made it to like further the plot that they were like received very poorly in Canada. Well, they weren't received they were like favorably, public. but like they were legit. They had like trainers and like right. it was like a legit entry. It wasn't like they showed up and signed up and then like it wasn't like this. They weren't on the yeah, guys. Yeah. But like late 80s, early 90s, there were a lot of these like kind of comical figures that were in the Winter Olympics a lot because they had somebody mentioned in the chat, Eddie the Eagle. He was like a, a terrible uh, ski jump guy from, I think it's from England. We used to have Olympics. <laughs> yeah. There was a guy named Faisal who was like, I think he was Iranian. He was like a cross country skier. He was coming last, but they had all these guys that were, you know, that like didn't fit like what you thought. Like people were just trying to get into the Olympics. And uh, the then the Jamaican Olympics bobsled team a... really. Go ahead. The Winter Olympics used to be like a big deal. Like I had, remember that year? Oh, yeah. What was that year that they had like these really cute mascots? I had like a Winter Olympics Barbie. 
<laughs> no, I remember it was like a big year, and yeah. then, like ever since, I feel like it's kind of like declined a bit. Let me see. I remember when I was very little, I had a, uh, I had like a little mascot. It was a fox from like Sarajevo, and then like now <laughs> you look at all the wars the and stuff fox, that were in yeah. like Sarajevo, and like it's just uh, like destroyed. This one, yeah, the, Salt the Lake Winter Olympics. Yeah. Was it this one? Yeah. Two thousand and two. I was just like the fancy party. <laughs> This has to be the only movie where the Swiss are like portrayed as these intimidating like, like front evil. runners. Yeah. Like, the intimidate. They're like Ivan Drago the Swiss. in the Rocky the series. For yeah, somebody. like. <laughs> I mean, that ends up being like a big thing later down in the movie. I'm not going to spoil it, but. I called that moment, by the way, when we were watching it the other day, because Lee knew. And I was like, I bet they're going <laughs> to. These sliding events are some of the favorite things to watch in the Olympics. All the weird, quirky stuff. Like, I don't really care about figure skating. And I know those figure skating gets all the ratings and stuff. But, like, the bobsledding and the luge and the skeleton and all these, like, terrifying things where you slide what's, 80 miles an hour on ice. What's the one where you're essentially just, like, uh, like um, is it called, like, scrubbing? There's Curling, thing, like, where you, like, just sweep. Yeah. <laughs> just but, like, sweep, no, that's a big like, deal, though. It takes a lot of skill, apparently. <laughs> No, curling is entertaining though. In a in a weird I wouldn't want to watch it like year round, but at once every four years, curling is pretty cool. How to get my popcorn on. David said the skiing and shooting Olympic, the biathlon. Remember that where they cross country ski and then they shoot a rifle into like laps around <laughs> like, like an arrival. That's some cross cross country now. Pete, now you made me want like popcorn, but every time I eat on mm. this, like. <laughs> Look at this thing. It looks like a bathtub. That's Bob <laughs> Chapik if he designed <laughs> skiing. <laughs> Let's let, oh, it'll work. Just slap some flex tape on it. <laughs> Not a lot of diversity I mean, on it. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's why they did it. They they did it to create kind of like, you know, like what happens if, you know, you inadvertently receive resistance for whatever reason, regardless of like your skill or talent. I will legit wear his outfit, Yul Brenner. <laughs> Secret you actually own that outfit. You, uh, you actually own that outfit, just slightly different mm -hmm. color scheme. This is actually any Caribbean country if it entered into the Olympics. What was it that year that like um, the Cuban base, was it baseball or was that a different, the Cuban baseball team went to play and then they all just stayed. <laughs> I don't know oh yeah, the Cuban, series. I had an Uber driver <laughs> once, but it was like a Cuban it. soccer player who, who had defected. Yeah, <laughs> they're like, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm just, you know, you make small talk with the Uber driver and he's, you're like, oh, are you Cuban? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, really? How long have you been here? Oh, like, you know, three months ago, I was on a Cuban national soccer team and I defected and now I'm your Uber driver. <laughs> I just dipped. <laughs> yeah. 
Is this your first time in an actual bobsled? Looks like it. They just scored this. Yeah. This is the first time of them actually going down ice in a bobsled. It's going to be my new line. I'm kissing no egg. <laughs> They used to make me so mad. I hated like people yeah, who were bullies I hated in him. movies. I was like, <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if that was the word. Disney Channel version. <laughs> he dropped an A bomb. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give an update as to where we are in the movie. Uh, if you're just joining us, we're watching Cool Runnings on Disney Plus. And in about 15 seconds, we will be at the 48 minute mark. So if you want to join us, go All ahead right. to Cool Running. Oh, man. And yeah, we are um, in nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're at the 48 minute, minute mark. Cool Runnings, Disney Plus. Starring John Candy and Dougie, or no, Dougie Doug and, and all these other guys. I need John Please. Candy to like be my like yeah. motivational speaker for everything in life. Five, he was uh, great. Like he was great. I'm telling you, watch the Great Outdoors and Uncle Buck if you haven't done it. I want to get cold. I love Warm. Uncle Buck. <laughs> Them screaming. <laughs> it's me on Space Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> This is going much faster than Space Mountain does. It's probably going faster than any roller coaster in Disney. Park. I kind of want to do this. <laughs> I'm going to bobsled at least once. Oh, no. At least once. I want to. Yeah, me too. Just have it like. Or lose. So I can't die, but just do it. Yeah. They had it in upstate New York. I just never got a chance to do it. And then Skeleton is like the luge, but they go face first, right? Yeah. Oh, just no. Yeah. Up. Oh, okay, that's terrifying. I don't even like doing like water slides like these first. Relax in. <laughs> what is he cooking? <laughs> Fine things, I think. God. I think it's fine things. It's like me and my story about my mom making rice in the All Stars. <laughs> I love your mom. She brings my dad. <laughs> It's like, why is the fire alarm going off? Oh, we're making a whole meal inside the room. <laughs> I always feel bad for you, Brenner, here. Damn. Oh, and here's Junior. You follow your dreams, bro. He's like the meanie of the group, but he, you know, he's headstrong. Yeah. He just seen some stuff. Oh, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I like that he cut up his sleeves. That's Tom. Once the website comes oh. back up, I'm leaving. <laughs> What are you laughing about? <laughs> I love when they're like all like gently breaking it down for him, like, bro. Oh, There's like a Meghan Markle me, joke in there. Miss <laughs> <laughs> my mouth. <laughs> Look how bad quality that hot plate is, too.
<laughs> he wants to become Megan. <laughs> coach thanks coach <laughs> I don't understand why they took Jamaican the fastest kids. guy in Jamaica and made him the driver and then just took like Dougie Doug and made him like the brake man who has to be back there pushing. I understand the responsibility of being the driver, but they just wasted the fastest guy in Jamaica that could have been helping them start more. We got the mind for it. The focus. Pat, I don't like this. <laughs> I'll never get old. <laughs> I love that so much. Is there a point when they get a new sled? I don't think so. I think they just like run the whole movie with this like junky sleigh. No, they yeah, get well, a new that's point. That's why it breaks sled. down. They no, they just they fix it up. They paint it. There's a there's a Bob Sled glow up. I have the something to say about this movie. later, though. I'll, something to say. I have something to say say about this later. I'll say old white guy, handsome black guy. You remember what you were going to say? Huh, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Silverman just sent me a, a song cook Jeff. Apparently, those exist. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, they're saying that John Candy cheated by adding weight to the sled, right? Yes. And everybody else has a fiberglass sled, and these guys have a metal sled. So this thing has to weigh like six times what the other sleds weigh. And that's not cheating, but adding a couple well, weights. Well, he, put, he put the weights in the front of the sled to pull it down faster, not sit on the track. It wasn't like balanced weight, weight up front. <laughs> Perhaps dust your head? <laughs> 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 this scene of the nightclub is great too where he does like a yippee ki -yay. I'm like I'm so excited I love this movie Oh, I'm sorry rise above it even in 93, I don't think people were really still sending Telegram? telegrams that much. Well, I guess it's like across and like it's a different country. It was coming from Jamaica to Canada. Is it even possible to send a telegram anymore? Because I think it'd be pretty fun. A singing one. Does this actually exist in Canada? Yeah. There are farmers I mean, up there. There's a lot of farmland. Oh, Calgary is like a big time cowboy town. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That shows you how they have a big rodeo country. every year. That's a big deal there. I mean, I'm like, Broward has a cow, like, Western bar, then why not? 
Canada. That's me. <laughs> In Broward County. <laughs> there's a what is it called? Roundup? It's like there's like a bar here that in contrast to like other bars here in Miami, all they do where is cowboy like where people ride their polo ponies in to play. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. Bro. Alberta yeah. is okay, Canada's Alberta Texas. Alberta is like Canada's Texas. I mean, I need those comparisons. I see pride. Calm it down, Jamaica. Apparently there's been like an earthquake near Idaho. Um, what? From Nevada to Montana, there's been an earthquake. Right now. <laughs> Reported in Yellowstone National Park. Well, it's gonna blow. So everything else oh god, was, it's gonna blow. Wasn't already hitting the just fan. the thing we've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, there are like reports of like, oh, this is gonna be the busiest hurricane season yet. I'm like, thanks, um, thanks. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, no, they say when Yellowstone New York, blows, it only sees one snow. When Yellowstone <laughs> blows, we're all finished. It's like a super. Um, the super volcano. I'm sure it's like yeah. a super volcano underneath it. No, yeah. that's what I'm saying. It's not, it's not an earthquake. It's no. getting ready to blow. No, baby. What is it? It starts with the plague, which is coronavirus. Then they go to volcanoes, Stop. and then don't. I don't know what happens. Locusts or <laughs> locusts are next. Yeah, and then four guys on horseback. Flood. I gotta go ahead to that ark somewhere in the mid Midwest or whatever. <laughs> I go down watching co runnings. That's that's fine with me. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, this is how I want to go. <laughs> Take me quickly. It's the company I mean, that matters. Yeah. <laughs> that won't take no crap. I see Brian. I see Bob. I see him. I love his little figure. Like, he's like, yeah, like the Bill Clinton thumb. <laughs> I need this. This is like. Where are you going? I need this kind of pep talk nowadays. <laughs> I would totally do that for you in the middle of the day. Be like, don't matter what Tom says. You're great. I'm great. You're smart. I don't You're take smart. No crap for nobody. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what Tom yeah. says. You tell Tom, You're great. you'll get done when I'm ready. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> Mandy says that's why WWE News tonight is always late. There's always that pep talk. There isn't. It should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Super Bowl champions. I remember that team too. I'm guessing that one did say in the Disney Channel version. Maybe they like slightly edited it. But yeah. Yes. Bye. Bye. Nice fight scene in a Disney movie. This is basically what they were testing out for uh, Rapunzel, right? <laughs> exactly. I mean, every good movie from the '90s had like a weird bar fight. Yeah, <laughs> this is my favorite part. Yippee ki yay! And all those movies, somebody gets head over, hit over the head with a bottle. I had so much fun with those. When I did theater in high school, we did two shows that had where you had to have a uh, glass bottles broken over your head, so it was candy bottles. And we had so yeah. we ordered so many extras that so we could just bash candy each other with the bottle? bottles. Oh, is that so how they break? I always used to get cracked when I was yeah. in Guys and Dolls. I got cracked over the head with a bottle like five times. <laughs> you were in a we love like, we love breaking up on play? each other. You were in the theatrical production of Guys and Dolls. I was yeah, like sophomore he was year. Of the original <laughs> cast. <laughs> how to and such. Mm -hmm. 
And to me, I never have to bail someone out of a theme park. <laughs> Butters is loving this because I keep dropping popcorn. I bought this kind of wine stop, like bottle stopper. I've never oh, needed yeah. a bottle stopper before. Well, that's specifically for are. champagne or bubbly. Yeah. No, it's good. <laughs> I'm, I'm not coming out of this very well. <laughs> He's got to be a size 11. <laughs> it's butt whipping time. That's how I wake up on um, whenever I ride it. Whenever an attraction opens. Yes, same. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. I just made a hundred dollar bet with a friend of mine. He has after May fifteenth. I have before May fifteenth. That any Disney park in North America will open. So you guys are betting even on like. Okay, I just picked April twentieth like a week ago, and I'm like, never mind. No. Yeah. <laughs> I he, he said May fifteenth is the line, so May fifteenth or sooner any park could just be one park the match kingdom could be just dca anything's got to open how about a disney golf course <laughs> i wish i tried that already <laughs> calgary 88 see before i was a blogger i used to be able to do uh those things pull-ups pull -ups. me too before I moved to Florida. <laughs> Before I was. I used to do them for a living. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very inspirational. I like the legs, though. It's so great. That's like me at the gym now, where I have to use like the weight assist <laughs> at a few pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How come he doesn't throw at least one of them? I mean, he's able to throw. For the oh, for the pull-ups, Pete, I, I didn't get over. weaker. I just got heavier. No, same, uh, for sure. <laughs> no, I, I think I also got weaker. I think I got both. Whatever muscle quality I had to pull myself up there. My muscles are great for someone that weighs 185, uh, 185 pounds. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not me. 185. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Like new, like Florida basically becomes New York. Like Miami is definitely on that same pattern. But then there's California, where like they've actually stayed inside because it's California, and they actually follow the rules. Oh my God, the uniforms. <laughs> So I'm if telling we can you, get Jessica, I, to act like Californians, we can live. No, I was on the roads this morning in Orlando. <laughs> and bad. I'm so mad. The, no, there was nobody there on the in Orlando this morning. Rush hour, nobody. Yeah. I drove up 535 all the way 535 up to, to the turnpike, and I saw like four cars. So that's the thing. I think maybe people might be off the road. That doesn't mean that they're not congregating otherwise. Um, like there's still a bunch yeah. maybe locally locally there's still a lot of yeah. people like meeting up but like they're like orlando oh, seems like people are doing a good job but i don't know yeah orlando's still very small like Miami has a huge population but like i'm seeing people that like i've never seen outside or suddenly outside having like picnics on the grass and i'm like i get it but you you probably shouldn't do that right now <laughs> <laughs> Pat MC seventy five is like, please. He doesn't want New York, uh, Florida, to become New York because then he can't go to Jelly Rolls, right, Pete? <laughs> That's right. We're going to September. I mean, you, uh, is that Pat MC? <laughs> Pat we're going in September. <laughs> they said literally like tens of thousands of people from New York 
ignored their orders to stay put and came to Florida. Tens of thousands came to Florida. It's a little surprising. I think um, Tom tweeted that apparently, like, one day he just saw a bunch of New York license plates in his parking lot. (laughs) <laughs> like yeah, overnight, yeah. I was like, oh, no, they were stopping people on like uh, 95 yesterday or the day before at the border, like checking their uh, license plates or something. Yes, this is when it starts getting good because like they start learning. Yeah. There was like the uniform reveal. They're getting more legit. But here's where like they plateau, right? Like. This is, well, yeah, this is like for them to be qualified to even be a part of the Olympics. They don't do this run. They can't be in the Olympics. You got to crack 60 seconds, man. Well, oh, while we come in here, right it's a good now. time to plug, uh, thank our WIGS members that are here. And also, if you are not a WIGS member, feel free to sign up and join. You get some behind the scenes stuff, um, post shows, um, a bunch of fun benefits. So, uh, yeah, join the WIGS if you're not a WIGS member. And thanks for hanging yes. out with us. Also, there's the super chat. You can do that as well. And, uh, uh, you know, you get VIP priority treatment. That's how we treat you if you're wigs. I think the, <laughs> I think the website's down right now, but has, yeah, I mean the website should still be up. We just aren't putting on yeah. tonight. But you go to patreon.com slash. We're changing server. Yeah, patreon.com slash wwnt. Shut up. <laughs> um, so. Thank you to all of our WIGS members currently in the chat. Mandy, David, thank you all. Um, uh, WIGS, actually, WIGS now has like a new, we have like a new uh, perk for our WIGS members. Uh, You'll notice that we've been putting out some like scanned printed material. um, And it's like vintage stuff from Epcot. So like today we put out uh, a teacher's guide uh, from the land uh, that's like from the 80s. It's really cool. We also have a cast member booklet from uh, um, Spaceship Earth. And it's full, as WIGS members, you get full res copies of those booklets and whatever other paper content we have. We're gonna keep putting those out uh, once a day. Um, And I think they're pretty fascinating. Uh, If you're just scrolling through the site, you'll still have access to them, but we are giving our WIGS members special access to the full res PDF. So if you really like to read those or like upload them onto your Kindle or whatever other reading material, like reading thing you have, I think it's a pretty cool read and like very retro. Um, and again, you get access to all uh, Wigs content starting at just two dollars a month. So yeah, thank you, Mandy. Members. Mandy's the Wigs member. David Long, a proud Wigs member. Uh, For the Wigs. Must be joking. Joined last week. So thank you guys for supporting cool. us. Uh, it means a lot to us that you're Wigs members. Thank you guys so much. Oh, Mandy, I'll Mandy, I'll I'll, let, I'll I'll bug Jason again about last week's post show. Normally they are not only two seconds long. I'm guessing there was some kind of a glitch upon uploading or something. I'm going to message him right now. You can probably hear the clicking. Just a matter of seconds. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here I am. <laughs> Also, guys, don't forget Thursday night uh, party with or no Thursday during the day is party with Pete, right? Is Thursday that a, at eleven? Isn't that tomorrow? Thursday yeah, at eleven. AM this Thursday. That's tomorrow's it's Wednesday. Thursday, tomorrow so. Park Center. Wednesday. Tomorrow Park Center at night. If you want to come we join us Park at the night, yeah. right? Oh, uh, they're gonna roast us for March Madness. They're gonna roast <laughs> us for uh, March Madness. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah. There is a. There, I would say tune in for Park Center. There is a. Um, we're doing something that has never ever been done before. Uh, oh, this God. is a first in Park Center history. Um, so I would say tune in to Park Center tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Um, same way you're finding us tonight, whether that's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, Periscope. I, lo- I love uh, Park Center, gaming. especially for someone with a short attention span like me. That's why I... Uh, you guys do that's great. That's kind of how we fucked that up, is that that was my beef, is that I said, I love that you, when I joined, I said, I love that you guys have a podcast, and I love that you have... Back to the Futures and around the hub, I was like, do you have anything that's short? Like, I wanted something for my commute. I was like, I go 30 minutes to work. Like, just tell right. me what I need to know in 30 minutes. No, so it's, that's it's how great. we came up with Park Center. Party with Pete, however, um, is a three-hour show. <laughs> Party with Pete is a three-hour show on Thursday morning. 
But I have special guest Piano Rob from Jelly Rolls this week. So he is from actually Jelly going Rolls. to – he's going to – we're going to do some interview questions, um, which I'm going to take from the chat. I have some made up myself. He's going to take requests, just like it's Jelly Rolls, in the chat and uh, play some songs. Um, he's going to play some of my favorites. I'm really excited uh, to talk to Rob from Jelly Rolls. Piano Rob. That's awesome. Jo Rob is my favorite – one of my favorite pianists from Jelly Rolls. Like, And he's really active on Instagram. He always posts stuff on there. Really yep. cool that he's going to be on. And it's rare. Like, it's the first time you're going to be able to see him perform in the daytime hours. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's going to be weird. Cool. But that's why it's yeah, party with yeah. Pete. We're going to have some beverages. That's great. Party with Pete. We get, we get, uh, we get good guests every now and then. Not, Melody we do not, Mesa's however, on... Uh, Pete is my favorite. <laughs> Yeah. On what? my show Saturday morning, locked in with Eric Morton. We do we don't get any <laughs> celebrity guests, but you no, I don't I haven't decided what we're gonna do for a janky intro, but we might have a janky intro for you on Saturday morning. What? I don't know. Do Saturday at eleven or two. You get me on your show. I do get okay. Pete. Pete is my celebrity guest. <laughs> <laughs> only in the only in the second hour. This is such a slow roll here where he like tells him like, oh, he hangs up the phone all upset. It's like, what a bluff. Yeah. Ah, uh, every household Great. in Jamaica is music. ready to tune in. They got the news. I the mean, bob that's sled like are, especially like on a smaller island, yeah. Oh, Melon and the Mouse, thanks. And uh, Mandy, from this point going forward, yeah, I'm going to be Thursday mornings. We'll be partying with Pete until we get back to some kind of normalcy. <laughs> that is my... People keep coming up and... People keep coming the up Italian. and Bob's yeah. teams. I love Secret it. Italian Bob's training facility. Same here. I think we're doing every Saturday moving forward until further notice is going to be uh, locked in Very with cool. Eric Morton. With Eric. And of course... Hopefully, Pete, every Saturday. Come hang really with us sometime, Jessica. You Pete sleep in, though. I don't know if you... Hour. you know. No, I don't sleep. I don't get to sleep in. I'm, I'm actually up, like, at least at, like, 7 or 8 every day because of publishing. Um, Just runs everything. You know... How does this guy get stuck with everybody's like luggage? Out. <laughs> Packing order. Oh, this is great. All right, I got to hear this. <laughs> the prayer. <laughs> they look like they're in my library. Right, the like cinder block walls? And, stuff. <laughs> yeah. and like Does the chairs and room? the patterns are like Kia furniture. Room? I wonder where it was filmed. Oh was no, Julia Bevel. Is it like a residence inn in Burbank? Yeah. Right? <laughs> residence inn is too nice. This is like a red roof. <laughs> it looks like a dorm room. It does. Oh yeah, that room with with elevators? This is a dorm. <laughs> it's the Olympic Village, man. They, they, they turn well, it's, it's, I'll tell you where it is. It's either somewhere. They only filmed in two spots, Calgary and Jamaica. So it's in one of those two places. And they did Calgary first, yeah. shot everything in Calgary. Like they might have used the actual Olympic yeah. Village uh, quarters from Calgary. Yeah. So it might even be there. They did all the Calgary scenes on the Jamaica, did all the Jamaica scenes, and that was it. I know, like, uh, when they had the Olympics in Atlanta. They um, took the old Olympic Village. They turned it into dorms for Georgia State University downtown Atlanta. Wow! So now they look like dorms. They were by the way, village. that movie Richard Jewell was incredible. Another Olympics movie, not such a good one. I see pride. I see power. His head is so square. I don't know if it's his hair or his head. It's my, it's, that was my dad when I told him I wanted to be an anthropologist. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said he wanted to work here. <laughs> no, that too. 
Does that not not go over well in a Cuban family? I'm going to be an anthropologist. No, you have you have to. Be, it's, it's an immigrant family. You have to be an an attorney or a doctor. There's no. <laughs> You're like we came to this country for you to like study, like pot shirts. And it's like, yep. <laughs> Make out. What if, what if they built a secret bobsled training facility for every country in the world? <laughs> All right. Well, Mexican <laughs> one, you'd be drunk. Norway one, you'd be going backwards. Oh, look at China the one. Pins. Forget. Oh, this is a fun fact. Pins and like Olympics merchandise is like a big deal. Yeah, well, this is why me. Disney started pin trading was because of the pin trading yeah. at the Olympics. Yes, it is true. Oh. Look it up. Really? Pin trading Disney, it was, it's there's a, uh, it's a hundred percent true. Is that pin trading Disney was basically created because of pin trading at the Olympics. I got it. It started fact with pin trading at the Olympics after. first. Look it up. Or I guarantee the chat will know this too. I'm not even going to look at the chat. I know I'm right. <laughs> I just know I'm right. <laughs> They've already announced the dates for like the 2021 Olympics, but it it is a shame that like a you know I know it's a big situation right now, but thank God it was pushed back like, though because honestly, the in summer Japan, is always so much. There's fun. still radiation <laughs> where they're gonna have the Olympics from their <laughs> nuclear. Okay, plant but you're like going up. deep, like. <laughs> Sorry. And they've known yeah, about right. the radiation. <laughs> I know, but like that's still really effed up. They're saying that it's all cleaned up, and it's not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm done with that. <laughs> Look at the Swiss. I hate the Swiss. God, I hate the USA. Although we do look good. Those are the worst outfits. 80 miles an hour, sweet, sassy, molassy. These kids are cute. Well, doesn't test drive go 60 miles I just stubbed my toe hardcore. My toe. 65. No. Not 80. Sorry. There's nothing worse. Need a beer. (laughs) The whole world locked down for a deadly virus, and I just said there's nothing worse than stubbing your toe. (laughs) I mean, (laughs) it happens. You're like, my life is over. I like, I lose all will to live. Right. (laughs) I'm like, life isn't worth living anymore. Like the pain. Adidas, all day I dream about sledding. Exactly. Sweet, some of them wear goggles, but not all of them. Guy up front. Only the front one? The driver. Don't need them. The other guys just look down. Run! Oh my god. See, like, the I was like, I'm very pumped right now. Like, I want them to win. Get in. Oh, jeez. You know, he used some real footage, so this oh, is sliced real footage from the Olympics with the movie. It's kind of cool. That was a good old turtle T-A-U-B move. <laughs> Mandy, yes, that is a corn song. <laughs> a corn fact, song? I have, I have so many corn CDs. Corn with the My brother cane. loves corn. <laughs> yeah. He better watch more than that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm help, trying to get Butters to clean up all the popcorn I dropped. She's slacking a little Come bit. On, Butters. Butters with popcorn or? <laughs> she usually doesn't need encouragement. Oh, there she goes. Oh, yeah. The popcorn never stood <laughs> oh, a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, she spit out a piece. Not very good popcorn. Do you think I, do you think I get ice cream delivered right now? No, I Dude, that is a spectacular idea. Cutting off earlier. 
I have never seen this movie. Is it any good? Uh, hello, is the sky blue? Is the Jamaican bobsled team Butter, fast? Butters wants to say hi, Jessica. Oh, Butters. Look at there that. you go. Say hi, Jessica Butters. Dog. I love hi, oh, she Butters. Is sweet. She's, she is happier about this lockdown than anyone else in America, let me tell you. She's just like snortling right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, she's, she's, she's talking by, by like, like <laughs> making little snortling noises. I love those. Everyone loves butters. Butters. Everyone in the chat is very uh, I don't like controversy. Oh, she part she of gets movie. way more positive comment. She gets way more positive comments on my show than I do. <laughs> you should. You have to incorporate yeah, go, go butters into whatever kind of opening you do this week. We all love the pets of WWNT. Oh, uh, I'll try to come up with butters. I, I thought about. Never mind. I'll tell you guys later. Maybe you'll you'll see on Saturday if you tune in. I'm surprised Gordo hasn't made an appearance yet. He's he he, he will eventually. He'll get hungry. <laughs> oh, Sanka coming in with the deep. <laughs> I would totally wear this jacket. Th that jacket is epic. I love it. No, no problem, man. Back when Olympic champions used to like smoke cigarettes, <laughs> back when everyone you can also. I was supposed to tell you that we can follow Butters on Instagram at i <laughs> underscore is underscore Butters. <laughs> I may or may not be adding Butters as we speak. She doesn't. She hasn't updated much lately, but I promise that she. I will ask her to update more soon. Underscore and Butters. No, I underscore is underscore is butters. Underscore butters. I is, I is butters. butters. <laughs> I'm feeling I gotta get on Instagram. Get on up. It's bobsled time. Bobsled time. Princess Butter. Peace be the journey. This and is the big scene, the guys. Hold on, I'm getting chills. <laughs> guys, this is it. Yeah, I, that's, uh, that's for, here we go. This will be a really good part. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhyme. Feel the rhyme. Get out up. It's bobsled time. Cool runnings. <laughs> Possessed. <laughs> <laughs> Jamaica. That's so cool. Like, yes. That was me, like, screaming at the TV, like, Jamaica! Same. Oh, I love this part. I just want to cry. If you're tuning in, you're way late. Hey, now, that, now, that chat is talking, now the chat is talking about a secret Butters bobsled training facility. <laughs> yeah, just make everything a secret bobsled training facility. It's fine. I put the wrong link in the group chat. You in here? Yeah, I'm sitting right in the bed. <laughs> And he says butter can only make the track faster. I get it. <laughs> That's at least dad calls her. He doesn't call her butters. He calls her butter. Come here, butter. And he'll sit there with her for about oh, 12 hours a day, just scratching her belly. Oh. Yeah, yeah, when, he's, when he's here, I, I don't stand a chance.
Everyone's just adding butters right now. <laughs> I know this is like a super heartwarming moment, but someone in the chat is saying the Jedi Butters is my new favorite Star Wars character. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mandy asked who Butter's cat friend is. And that was um, Kitty, and she she passed away last year, no. or in in the last six months or so. Poor Kitty, but we don't have a Kitty pal for Butters now. But maybe maybe one day again we will. Now come on, Jamaicans. Pet, me pet meet up. <laughs> Yes. So this is it. There you go. Feel the run. Feel the run. Bump <laughs> set time. It's Bob set time. Bob cool set time. Runnings. It's secret Bob said training facility yes. time. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm so excited for them. I like this TV. Look at the TV. It's got the dials. Love it. Yeah, I want to go up. The excitement. This is so exciting. <laughs> It looks like one of those Key West bars where, like, if a hurricane blew it down, you could rebuild it for $6,000. It's like some wooden exactly. lattice work and a couple, like, four-by-fours. Oh, no. Record pace. Ooh. Ouch. So we you don't, don't really see that. Bob, the real Rick and Bobson did have a spill like this. Uh, they were going over 80 miles an hour and they slid on their like helmets for footage. over 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. And then they actually smelled their helmets burning and they said they couldn't get their smell that's out. That's almost of there. a half a mile. 2,000 feet. Yeah, that's how far they slid with their helmets in your head. Literally scraping against the ice. At 80 miles an hour. But did they have Dougie Doug? No. They didn't have Doris. And they didn't carry the sleds above their heads, but they didn't walk alongside it to the finish line. And there was, you know, people started to applaud and then the roaring applause. That's all true. So a lot of this part is kind of true. Now, is there still a Jamaican bobsled team? I yeah. know they went on for a little while. Are they still? I yeah, like Sam Wynn. I like Sam Wynn. I mean, there's no snow in Jamaica, so it makes sense that they don't. don't. There's no brakes. Yeah, there's no control. Snap your neck. Yeah. I love the big slide here. Slide, slide, slippy slide. Snowmaker. The snowmaker's going to help. <laughs> I like the person with the it was like random a Soviet Russian flag. flag. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Like, we good. Why was there like a random little kid up like in that like in the way? What? <laughs> Mandy, there are no brakes, no control. It sounds like WWE. <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> Seeker Gulag. <laughs> He's gotta stop. <laughs> Someone said there are no brakes. There's no control. It sounds like yeah. oh, Mandy said it. it. Sounds like WDWNT. Oh, this, oh, this guy clapping Thursday night. Looking forward to it, Mandy. Clap, clap, clap. Slow clap it out. And now when he sees his dad, this is my loser. I start crying. He looks like the bad guy in beer fest. When, he's, when the dad opens up his jacket, I can't even handle it. I just, in these times, I I just want a onesie like that. <laughs> just one. Ah, uh, <laughs> right there. He had a Drake uh, and Popsled team T-shirt printed up by his people. So what was like the qualification? Did they let them? Like, did they win? I know I'm like skipping to the end. No, that was their medal run. Again. So they qualified. I think they came they in last the medal there. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously because they crossed the finish line, but they were going at a record pace. They would have medaled if they would have kept that pace. Uh, right. But instead, they didn't. And but they, there was. What is this guy's face in the background? Not a random Boston Red Sox fan. <laughs> it doesn't mean that I like you. The lucky the egg. egg. <laughs> oh God. Huevos. He kept a egg. kept that egg in his pants. I just no doubt. John Candy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I love this little like freeze frame. They hang it up. Oh, I'm gonna cry. No. <laughs> it's see, it's such a uh, good movie. Like, oh like, man. It's, like... it's touching. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, Pete, is it a little know. dusty in there? <laughs> My allergies. Jamaican and Bob said team returned to their country as heroes. Four years later, they returned to the Olympics as equals. See, that was like all made up. <laughs> like they were all You just said like, they're kind of using the Hercules font for that almost. Yeah, well, this is like the 90s font. Oh no, rookie of the year, I'm good. No, 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 no we're not about that life. sports movie. <laughs> That's a sweet ending though. It's a good year. ending. I, I like it, you know. So this song that, became that's a popular movie. because of this movie. Really? What? Yeah, it was popular before this movie. This song, oh, I guess, yeah, clearly now by. Right I cut it off because Rookie of the Year was about to come on. Yeah, no, but like, yeah, the I can see clearly now the ratings on like that. I read that on the Wikipedia page for the movie too. Like it was like actually yeah. like the top forty Billboard, just, but just because of this movie, which is funny. I would imagine that yep. that song would have like made the charts beforehand. Um, are there Jimmy any, Cliff. Like, fun? Is this one of those movies with like the fun? I like after? the I like the little no. inspirational ending. No, I mean it's very formulaic for a Disney movie, but I like it. It was good That's and what I'm close to the for, truth. You know, yeah, yeah. I saw it today on just a, an aside on Facebook. I will say like, you know, Pete getting choked up reminded me there was uh, on James Corden last night. They had the guy Ben Platt. Uh, and he performed with his castmates a song from Dear Heaven Hansen, and it was really beautiful. And then, and we watched oh, it, wow. and got a little got a little dusty in here, you know. It's a, it's okay. a sweet, <laughs> sweet thing, especially when you're shut in, you know, and you I look at lately, the condition like, that we're in right now. Yeah, we're also like shut in. I think the other day, what I was like watching, I was like, Jess, get a hold of yourself. 
It was like Magic Happens came out, and it was like this beautiful professional cut with like the actual soundtrack. And then like later that day or like the next day, there was like we 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 ran a review of like an RPG for the mobile phone, and I saw a trailer for the RPG. Um, what was it called? Like I'm blanking out. It's like Mickey something or other. And I was like tearing up over a mobile RPG game, like trailer. <laughs> Yeah. And that's just that's just where we're at right now. <laughs> Pete, what do you are you, is there like So what did you guys think of the what did you guys think of the movie? Did, did anybody watch this for the first time tonight? Any oh, yeah. first time? Um, this is probably like fiftieth time. I'll probably watch it again when we end this call. Yeah, I'm looking in the just chat. So I I'm, really just, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm curious if anybody uh was watching this for the first time because I intentionally watched it a couple nights ago just in case I was needed. And sure enough, like thirty minutes before this yeah, started, thanks for pizza. coming on. No, yeah, no problem. We were we were playing a game with my sister online. <laughs> I forget what it's called. What was the name? Of the, I don't remember the name of the game. Uh, wait, I wrote it down. Truth or dare? Quiplash. My sister and a few friends. Oh, that's a good game. Like that. Yeah, it's really fun and it's, it's really easy to play. Like is designed to play online with friends because you have the questions are asked like on your computer and on your phone you can like type your answers so quick flash good game but we got done just in time for me to join you I appreciate you inviting me Pete yeah, and we appreciate the people that joined us we still have forty three people left that's amazing for a I was Tuesday more saving Jessica because Jessica would have been stuck with just me the entire time so yeah, I'm like, yeah. how can I save it would have done fine it's great. This is all gonna be like weird, like mix up of, of people. But hey, we're all like, bro, you know, we're all on the show. We all do the thing. Um, yeah, it was funny. Yeah, I mean, everyone do. Do cool runnings, and then everyone suddenly had to work or go to a meeting or do school, and then it was just me and Pete. <laughs> I know, and you guys did the decom thing the other night, and I didn't watch because I couldn't. I can't get Lee to watch the Zen. I'm not going to watch the Xenon movie by myself. I couldn't get Lee to watch it, but I don't want to like watch it. No, it's 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 lame. Cool. If it's not nostalgic, I can definitely see how like from an outside pure outsider's perspective, it can be like just a cheesy lame kids movie or like a preteen movie. Um, but it's fun watching it with a group, you know, like, um, we watched so much Disney plus this weekend. And I wish <laughs> I could remember what all we watched. We watched cool runnings. We watched 20,000 leagues under the sea last night. We watched Swiss family. Oh, Robinson. Well, I need to watch that. Yeah. Swiss family. Robinson. Oh, you know, Swiss family. Robinson is awesome. Um, yeah. What's that? We watched another one. It's old, like live action ones. I can't remember. I dated a girl right that now. really likes Swiss Family Robinson. She told me I would, she told me I should really get into that. It was like her favorite Disney movie, and I was like, "That's your favorite Disney movie?" And she's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "All right." No, no, no. It's really good. Although you will look at the way they made those movies back in the day, you'll be like, "Wow!" That like the animals and stuff that are in there. And you're like, "How are those animals actually being treated?" I'm not really sure. Some of them um, have died but, on set. Uh, <laughs> Tiger well, King dropped them off. Joe Exotic was the consultant. I haven't yeah, seen it's funny because I remember I think it's like Milo and Otis. They're like it was made in Japan and they're just like, yeah, they just they killed like 14 pugs making these scenes because they didn't care. They just, <laughs> no. you know, throw it down a river and, and, and it broke my heart. I, uh, I do that. Um, but by the way, but oh, Eric, and I can say this on the air. I don't care. Uh, Big Cat Rescue got back to me today. Yeah. What did they say? Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll tell you after. I'll tell you later on. I mean, it's wait, Carol wait, Baskin is currently Big about Cat to rescue. I, I'll tell you later on. Uh, wait, we, <laughs> Pete and I have been talking <laughs> about <laughs> Tiger King on the. I on wanted to program. interview Carol Baskin, um, so I put a call out. Is that the rescue and, uh, in uh, Tampa? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, have you watched? But she's Tiger not doing King? interviews because she was. Yeah. No. She hasn't watched it yet. You got to watch it. You'll under. You have to watch it. What is oh it my Netflix? god! I don't have Netflix. I only have, like, you don't have Netflix Plus and Amazon Prime. Someone and... said just no. We, we discussed this. Password. We've discussed this multiple times. Jessica, Pete, and I have dis- discussed it here on on live on oh yeah on oh, YouTube. Yeah. I love um, the Tiger King. I just, I recently like I've been in Orlando most of the time, but I finally got rid of my apartment in Tampa like oh, a week and a half, two weeks yeah. ago when I moved. And um, 
and my apartment was like a thousand feet, eleven 1, hundred feet, I think, from Big Cat Rescue. So every now and then I could Which sit is on the show. Here in Rear, but I've never been to Big Cat Rescue, <laughs> and now it's like the big thing that everybody's talking about, and it's uh, a few years ago. One of my old coworkers, I like, took his wife because she was like cat obsessed, like me. So they were telling me about it, uh, and I was like, "Wow, that's that's so cool!" And apparently, it's like most places that let you like touch or interact with like big cats are that's usually like a no no. But like with the big cat rescue, you aren't allowed really like any like activities like that because it's a true rescue. I don't know if that that might have changed over the years. Right, big cat rescue. They they never touch the cats. Whenever they right. you, they're, you don't pet them, you don't you just can watch them. You might be able to throw them some food. So. Jess, you ever see Scarface? You to toss him a steak or something. What? Yeah, toss him a steak. Toss him a tenderloin, ribeye. <laughs> Pete for the third time. She's second. Cuban and she lives in Miami, and you just asked her if she's seen Scarface. I know. Before. That's what I'm asking. Have you ever seen Scarface? I've seen Scarface. I've seen like the first Scarface and the, the like other Scarface. Yes, there's like a black the, and white Scarface. The Al Pacino version? Yes, I've seen the Al Pacino. But anyway, the guy who inspired Al Pacino's character <laughs> is on Tiger King. And he lives in Florida. Like, he is Tiger's. And he's, he's like, the most normal that. person on Tiger King. Yeah, he's the most normal person on the show, too. A drug, lord, a drug lord who collects tigers and exotic animals is the, yeah. the oh most normal God. person on that series. The thing is, that's that so normal here. That's really just so pedestrian. Like, people having. You can't even turn ahead with a tiger in, in Dade County. Yeah. I had today I was like I've been like working since like there's not as much work anymore and I'm just like depressed I was just working on my couch downstairs instead of here in my office and all of a sudden I heard this like cacophony of birds outside I'm like what what's going on like that doesn't sound like your usual bird calling and apparently it was just um, a pack of wild parrots apparently there's like wild parakeets what? in Miami it was just yeah. a flock oh, yeah. of like ten of those like green parrots, and they were just all squawking and starting like a turf war outside my house. And then I just see them fly away, and it's just like this <laughs> mass of green birds. And like those are parrots; those those are not birds that just would normally be out yeah. in the right because this is where they come. <laughs> this is where they're brought. That's to. what I think about when I think of Miami. I don't think of water <laughs> so clear you can see to the bottom and hundred thousand dollar cars. Everybody got them. I think of like the, the weird stuff. There's smuggled a lot of weird stuff that goes and, around. Yeah. Smuggled exotic animals. Yeah, those are all smuggled in his pants. And, yeah. Um, and iguana is <laughs> falling asleep when it gets cold out and falling out of trees. <laughs> oh, God. Um, That's the Miami Anna. But um, it's back I, to I like just want to just... We're heading back to Disney Plus. Yeah. So I, well, Disney I was just going to say, Pete. I really had... want to see. Go ahead. I was just going to say, Pete had mentioned uh, the Wigs members. We appreciate that. And and also, yes. Jessica was talking about, you know, all the work on the website. And uh, we do have a lot of people who are, who are working hard to keep content flowing for you guys on the website. And we appreciate all the clicks and likes and shares because we need them now probably more than ever. And we appreciate what you do, Jessica, because... I, I don't want your job. You have <laughs> the hardest, maybe the hardest Trust job. <laughs> People, you've seen how many job fairs we've held for weekend editors and no one wants to job. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's fun that we, I get to dabble in all this other stuff now, um, doing more YouTube stuff that I usually don't get time to do during the normal workload. Uh, it's really fun getting to like drop in here for a few hours, actually get to socialize because I haven't left my house in three weeks. Um, and yeah, any other ideas, any other things you guys want to watch? Everyone, even people oh! are, like, just randomly got sucked in. What, what's up? We just got our first what, super oh. chat donation of the night. What? Pat, Pat. mix 75. Oh. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. <laughs> it's the stickers. We I can the stickers. It's a slippery slope. There are two ways for you guys to donate. There's super on YouTube anyway. Um, uh, there's super chats or you can like send a message like, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know, Pete Carney rocks, and then you can donate whatever amount of money. Um, or these cute little stickers, which are just little animated sets of stickers. You can pick whatever design. Each design has a different price. But it's cute. Like, the lowest sticker starts at, like, 99 cents, and then it goes up to, like, maybe, like, 25 or 50. And it's just, um, you just throw it out there. It's, it's like, oh, it's like, what's 99 cents? Here's a cute sticker. Like, enjoy 
having money. And it helps us <laughs> on the show. <laughs> Get paid. And four of us, but because Kevin is running um, the show tonight, he's behind the scenes. But yes. between four of us, we managed to raise two ninety nine tonight. Um, thank you very much. And Tom, <laughs> Tom will. <laughs> Tom won't fire us. One, because we made two dollars and ninety nine. One drink of ramen each. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. thank you all. Like, thank you very much, Pat. Randomly Appreciate just tuning in. I see a lot of people saying like, "Oh, I get never get bored of cool writings." First time since it came out, uh, Joel Welch um, saw it in theaters, but not since. It's fun to like re-see some of these things. Um, yeah. I was really. I, I want to do twenty thousand leagues. Same. <laughs> we, we need to do twenty thousand leagues. Um, I've awesome. never seen it. That'd be great. The sound of Family music Robinson, is they're both awesome. Plus. Yeah. I really yeah. want to watch the sound of music because like stuff like that isn't always on scene, like Turner Classic Movies, which is where I would think so. So I'm like, oh, here I have all this like di I get frustrated with Disney Plus. It's kind of hard to there's everything is technically there, but to find it it's actually kind of hard. At least like if you're in a Roku, it's impossible. Um, Do you know? I don't, you didn't hear this the other day, but I literally just saw the sound of music for the first time like two days ago. Yeah, there's a lot of really oh, good like old classic. movies. I'm like, I've never seen sound hey, music. Hey, like, Dolvice. Hey, <laughs> Dolvice. Dude, I had no idea Christopher Plummer was in that. That is so crazy to me. It blows my mind. Christopher Plummer, man, of course. That is crazy to me. Christopher Plummer is just an old, cool actor, dude. I never saw him young is crazy. No, I'm telling you that the uh, we need to do Swiss Family Robinson, the old school one, not this other one that apparently we made one in like, an, I don't know. Even Disney Plus has two are, of them. There's one from 1960 the and there's one from 1940. The one from 1960 is really 20, good. And then the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is spectacular. Uh, it's a little weird, but it has like a young Kirk Douglas. <laughs> Oh my god. Which is a little like that's a little like that's a little weird to see Kirk Douglas as like a really journey to the center of the earth would be a fun one. You know, there's all kinds of stuff in those oh, live that's action. That's, like, that's incredible. Yeah. Oh yeah. Journey and to the once, center of the earth is in there. Bed knobs and broomsticks and you know, Escape to Witch Mountain. There's, the we watched Parent like, Trap. <laughs> the original Parent Trap with Haley Mills is in there. Um, I love that. We one. watched. I had that on like Treasure. a sing along VHS. That's how I know about them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Disney Plus. I'm telling you, with the, when this shutting gets over, I'm gonna make it to the end of Disney Plus. I'm gonna beat the. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the end guy and be the champion of Disney Plus because we no, are. New stuff we're, coming. Like, yeah, I know. So, there's plenty of new stuff favorite. coming. Yeah. I actually saw mm. all of the Trons, like Tron franchise. I yeah. seen parts of the original Tron, but I never just sat down and watched the movie from the beginning to the end. And I was so sucked in. It was so good. Like I finally get how it's such a cult classic. Uh, and all of a sudden, if you're also interested in like the ride that's halfway built <laughs> right now in the Magic Kingdom, everything started making more sense. I'm like, oh, that's the grid. And then this is that. Um, and then the Tron Legacy yeah. was really good. And then there's also a series that's excellent. It's called Tron Uprising. Um, it's amazing. It's, Tron it has Uprising. an incredible voice cast. Uh, and there's only one season, but all like the animation's incredible. I don't know. It was part of like the lead into like re promoting Tron in like 2014. Excellent I wish you could remember all the movies well, we saw I'm a this fan week. Of, like, cartoons. You know what is? I will say what is a uh, pretty lousy Disney movie um, that we watch <laughs> is Robin, Robin Hood, the cartoon, the animated feature Robin Hood. Yeah, I was what? wanting. I was actually thinking about watching it the other day. Like, yeah, I mean, no, definitely watch it, and time. then you can agree with me next time we're on together that you're like, <laughs> oh, this is. This is not up to the standard of Disney. Yeah, you know, I and I have a fondness for it because I had that. I remember as a kid, I had that record. So the record right. was kind of like that record. rooster singing along and do do yeah. do do do. do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, the movie itself. <laughs> it is, I am alive. Is. Hello. Um, yeah, I'm Pete. Looks done. I am a little tired tonight. I'm sorry if I look tired. I am tired. And uh, Pete, you will Manny was like, quarantine got me. Yeah. 
I am. I'm shocked today. Um, we woke up today early. We woke up today at like seven something, um, and then we went for a walk around celebration um, for a few miles, and then it's a great so walk. Something I'm else. Looking out, I'm looking out at in my window like you shouldn't be outside. <laughs> You're outside is healthy. I need fresh air. I'm not like I didn't go outside to like meet with people. I'm, I went for a walk. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we just did a long day. <laughs> I'm shot, so I'm sorry. It's like but... you dead, mon. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Let's, put, like, yeah. let's put this to rest. Um, thank you all so but much. But I will help be full of energy. I promise for tomorrow night. I plan on sleeping in tomorrow. So Park Center, tune in <laughs> tomorrow night uh, and Thursday. Party with Pete at 11 a.m. It's gonna be a good time then. And our other yeah. shows as and well. Then... I was doing everything. And... I just want to plug Saturday. If you if you wake up Saturday and want to eat your bowl of cereal and watch uh, Locked In with Eric Morton, please let me know. And if you have ideas for things you'd like to see on yeah, Locked right In with Eric Morton, uh, just email me at ericm at wwnt.com because, uh, well, so far I'm out of ideas, but that usually happens. <laughs> usually I don't come up with an idea until Saturday morning, which is why you get very poorly produced material <laughs> out of me. But somehow that makes it charming. I'm told. 305 in the UK. Carl, dang. <laughs> Good for you. I like that. Good for Carl. All right, That's everyone. why the party Good with night. Pete is Thank perfect you. for you. Party. Good night, yeah. everyone. Party. Party. Yes. Think. Good night, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Good night, everyone. Uh, Kevin, Thank if you. you're still awake, you can, you can turn us on. We have the one Doris and the one. We got a bobset team. We got the bobset team. Cool.